The award-winning local film, Krotua, has finally shown on South Africa's big screen. This after scooping eight international awards and being shown around the world. The film is based on the life of an 11-year-old Koi girl who was taken from her family to serve Jan van Riebeck in his Cape settlement in 1652. An intimate screening. Hosted at the Stair Kiniko head office in Santon, some cast and crew were in attendance. A striking tale about a woman who was prepared to sacrifice everything to give birth to the great nation we all share today. The film tells of Kritoa, a feisty, bright, young 11-year-old girl who is removed from her close-knit Khoi tribe to serve her uncle's trading partner, Jan van Rubiek, played by Armand Okamp. The film, written by Kay Ann Williams and Margaret Holdsmith, was created by a dynamic team of women, with acclaimed filmmaker Roberta Durant as director and producer. We took all of the facts, the very few facts that we had of her, and we basically had to texture it in with what we felt her journey would be. So the wonderful thing about this project is that most of the women, most of the people on this project were women. Most of the crew, most of the HODs, the writer, the director. So whenever we wrote something about her, we said, how would I feel as a woman? If I was put in this circumstance, what would my emotional response be? Because it was nothing. There was just Kratoa, you know, when they thought she was about born, who she married, and that she died. But everything else was just things that we had to, uh, could be construed as um, conjecture because we had to basically color in the life of this woman who no one bothered to take she in. When she died, even though she made such a huge contribution, number one to the Afrikaans language, because a lot of the Khoi language is found in the Afrikaans language. The film has already received six official selections at international film festivals around the globe, including the International Film Festival for Environment, Health and Culture, World Film Awards and the Artemis Women in Action Film Festival. It is inspired by the historical facts as this young woman is rejected by her own Khoi people and destroyed by the Dutch when she tries to find the middle way between the two cultures. Amand Okam took on the role of Van Riebeek in this film and did a stellar job on bringing to life this historical character. What was most important for me is I had to give uh, life to, a, like you said, an infamous character that we forget sometimes. Van Riebeek uh, was a man with aspirations and dreams and fears. And, and if I could give him a sense of uh, realism, then, then, then I'd be happy. Um, and that was the most fun part for me, is to, is to take this, this character that people have a lot of prejudice about. Um, and it's not my job as an actor to make people believe what he's doing is right or wrong. I just need to show that he has goals and he's, he, motiv he motivates his actions, whatever they may be. Um, and that's, and that's the human part of it. We all do things because we want certain things or we don't do things because we fear other things. Um, and that was the case with him as well. Um, and, I, and I hope I brought that to the character. One of the tribe's mightiest warriors, Duman, is also the man Kratoa has been promised to from a very tender age. But what unfolds following her service of Van Rubiek is very tragic for the young couple. It's a very in-depth character. He's got so many levels to him. Firstly, he's promised to um, Kratoa at the age of nine. You know, they used to do in the culture, they used to do promised marriages. So he was basically promised to her as a kid. So now, when she has to leave in the story, you know, of course, Jan van Riebeek takes her away from the camp. We all know that as she went, but no one knew which age she went, nine years old. And then Jan van Riebeek raped her before she was, you know, a young lady and she had to come back because there, there was a whole ceremony to the back and forth so there was a very a very deep emotional connection between the two characters. Kratoa releases to South African audiences on August 4th 2017.